Okay, um, we will now uh, learn the Mishnah Yomis and finish the eighth parak of Nadarim. Eighth parak of Nadarim, as we are sponsored. Le'ilu Nishmas El Chanan Bunim Ben Naftali Beinish El Melch Ben Eliezer and Lerfush Leim for the Yom Moshe Ben Chayesara for the Schus of Avram and Yom Beinish Ben Malk Yudas and family. We're also sponsored by the Fisher family, the Nishmas Basi Bas Rabbit Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi and Peril Bas Ruvain by the Klugman family for the Gzun Parnas and Nachas and the Rafush Leima for Meir Ben Chayesara. Should have a Rafush Leima Besed Shar Chayu Yisrael. So the Gemara now tells us at the end of the eighth parak in Mishnah Vav, Amar Kainim Basar Sheini Toyim. If let's say Shelley says, I vow that I won't taste meat at Sheyei until Yom Kippur. So the Gemara says he means until the Sudas Mavsekis. He plans to be able to eat meat at the meal before. The Tanis, he just means that he won't eat meat until when people generally eat meat. Ain't no usur ad lele atzayim, he's only usur until the meal before the fast. Shalin is chavin zeh, he didn't intend ela at shosha derk bade adam lech obasur, until when people uh, customarily eat meat in order to have strength to fast. Similarly, Rabbi Yaisi Benay Aymer says a uh, uh, same idea. If Chatzkel says, I vow not to taste garlic until Shabbos. Now, Achete Shabbos could mean until Shabbos is over. However, we, since the, it is a takana that people should eat garlic Friday night, because Friday night is a special time of intimacy between husband and wife, and garlic increases the zera. Garlic, garlic increases the semen, so therefore ain't no usher ella at lele Shabbos. He's only usher until Friday night. Shalei Nischaven said he only intended ella at shosha derek b'nei adam lechol shum to usher it until when people eat garlic, which is Friday night. By the way, this is also the reason for the minig, the Hungarian minig of eating a radish, which also is marbazera. Mishnah Zion tells us, If I tell Shelly, uh, I vow that I won't benefit from you anymore. Unless you come and take a kur, that's a lot of wheat, 30 saw of wheat, and two big casks of wine. I mean, it's ridiculous that I keep on benefiting from you and I'm not giving anything in return, so I'm not going to benefit any more from you unless you take this big gift for your son. Harizeh Yochel L'Hofer Es Nidrei Shelly could annul the vow, Shaloy Al Pi Chochem, even without resorting to get a Chochem to be mat in a nether, by saying, Rabbi Weiss, you wanted to benefit me because I'm benefiting you, Benefit for me would be not to take what you're offering because Sine Matanis Yechia, he who hates gifts, live. Or as the Rav says, it's a pride for me to show that I could take care of my son by myself. So the Yaimelikluma tell him in Nekvaidi, you only said it because you want to honor me because I'm benefiting you. You want to do in return, Zel Kvaidi, this is my honor not to take. So it says, if you honored me. And therefore, the nether is not triggered, it's not activated. Another, If I tell Shelley, I vow that you won't benefit from me, I mean, it's ridiculous. I do so many things for you. Uh, you can't benefit from me unless you pay back. I support my son unless you pay back and give my son a cur of wheat or two casks of wine. So there, says the Gemara, if Shelley doesn't do it, then he's forbidden to benefit from me. Rameir, I'm an Osir Achiyitain. He can't benefit from me until he gives me payback. The Chacham, I could, I could be made for it. Avze Yochalei, Feras Nindra, I could uh, annul the vow, Shalei Alpi Chacham, even without a sage. 
Because I could say, I only made it because I didn't want it to be that you're taking advantage of me. But I won the lottery. My stock went up 100 points. And therefore, I don't need it. It's as if I received it. I could tell him, it's as if I got it. Now, another example of where we uh, don't take the nether, nether literally. If they were pushing Chatzkel to marry his niece, there's an Indian to marry a niece. It says that, uh, and uh, they're pushing him to marry his niece, but he doesn't like his niece, not to marry her. He says, I vow that she can't benefit, benefit from me forever. The Chain Amagarish is Ishtay. He divorces his wife. And they're talking reconciliation. So he wants to make it clear that there's not a chance for reconciliation. My wife shouldn't benefit from me ever. Says the Gemara in both cases, Denise, Denise could take a ride with him, she could take a, a hitch with him. The ex wife could uh, have a piece of cake from him. All he meant was he's not going to marry them. He says, The niece could take a ride, could get a ride to the Catskills with him. His ex-wife could, you know, have a piece of his kakash. He just meant that he's not going to marry her. And similarly, and similarly, the Gemara gives one more, the Mishnah gives one more example as we come to close the eighth parak of Nadarim. If I was pressing uh, Yitzi to eat by me for uh, Purim Suda, and Yitzi likes to be in his own house where he could get drunk the way he wants, he doesn't want to feel, you know, bound by being by Rabbi Weiss, that's a bore. So, Omar, he says, I vow that I'm not going to enter your house. I won't taste a drop of cold water. Says the Gemara, He could come into my house and look at my library. He could have a cup of my uh, delicious uh, spring water. When he made the vow, he just meant that he's not going to eat by me the perm soda. He's not going to eat the perm soda. But he could enter my house and he could have a nice cup of cold water. We don't take it literally. Okay, Rabbi Isai, again a reminder that uh, we are looking for a sponsor for the Megillah Shear this week. 718-916-3100 rmmwsi at aol.com uh, we hope to see everybody back at a quarter to eight tomorrow night. We will have a different schedule. I will give you a scoop. I will give you a scoop now to tell you that in Yitzhak Hashem, the shear on uh, Tanis Esther will be at 9.15. Shear on Thursday night will be at 9.15. And shear on Matzi Shabbos, Purim night, shear on Purim night, uh, which is after the Megillah, and I have a minute that I eat a small Suda after the Megillah. So the shear will be, it's going to be a late one, but that's Purim, big schuss. The shear on Purim night will be at 10.30. 10.30, Purim night. Purim night, shear at 10.30. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, and have a wonderful evening.